chair. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Michael Messer. I drive a 1992 Nissan S13 240SX. I always liked cars. My dad had cars, but when I was born, most of his fun cars were gone. Around the age of 13, um, I started shopping for cars. My parents said they would give me half for a car. At that point, I didn't really want anything specific. I just wanted something I could mess with. And I mean, I got a Jetta. So um, from then, I just flipped a couple cars. And then I found a YouTube channel called Mighty Car Mods and I saw what they did and I thought it was crazy. They kind of inspired me. They made a 180SX video, which we don't get here, but we get the 240SX and that just set it off. I saw what they did, I saw how they did it. I was like, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that and it's what I did. I don't think I've inspired anyone um, specifically but I do know of people that saw how old I was and saw what I was able to do with hard work. I mean, it doesn't matter your age, what kind of tools you have. You can do anything with the most basic stuff. So I do know people who saw, wow, this kid is 16, 17, and he has this kind of car. And so they were like, I can do it too. So. First thing, um, I got the car, it was a blown engine. I was looking for a, a shell, so um, I got the car legitimately knowing almost zero about cars. Um, I looked in the engine bay, had no clue what to do, so I said, whatever, and I started taking out bolts, started taking out anything I could. Eventually, got the engine out. First mod was a, S a JDM SR20 DET swap. Um, I ran it stock for a while, um, after about a, uh, maybe six months of driving it, I got a, uh, upgraded turbo, a little bit bigger, um, I went from a T25 to a T28 journal bearing, and then, uh, I put some cams in it, um, some small boost controller exhaust, all the basic stuff, coilovers, um, and then very recently, I pulled the engine out again, did a upgraded head gasket, um, an even bigger turbo, this time top mount, um, so you can see it super out there. Uh, inter front mount intercooler, and now I've got a Rocket Bunny version one wide body kit that I am in the process of putting on. My dad understands it more than my mom because my dad liked cars. He never modified cars to the extent that I have. He liked what's called OEM Plus. So um, my parents, they think it's what I love to do, so let me do it. Um, they don't always agree with my money spending decisions because majority of my money does go to this. Um, but there's no time where they're like, don't spend your money on this. My mom, sometimes she'll joke, she'll be like, get that piece of crap out of my junk, out of my uh, driveway, but um, it makes me happy. It's what I love to do, so they accept it. Um, I am a Taekwondo instructor. Um, I've been doing that for 11 years, and then I started teaching about uh, five years ago, so um, that's where I work. My car wasn't really bait for, bait built for racing. Um, it wasn't really purpose built at all for something specific. I just like to drive it. Um, I would like to drift it. I do take it to meets when it runs. Um, I take it to night moves. Um, I, I have, my car has been in Springfest once. I've been to Springfest twice. The first time my car wasn't there. Hopefully I'll be there. Um, this coming up year, I hope to go to H2O up in Maryland. Um, I, I'm not one to really like show off my car. I try to build my car for me. So it, it's more about, you know, working on the car for me, for me to drive it, you know. Once Rocket Bunny is installed, I would like to do some more suspension stuff. Um, 
Paint is coming very soon. Um, before H2O, I would like to have um, paint. I'm going with a very dark metallic blue, um, kind of like a navy blue with some flake in it. It has to get tuned as well since uh, I'm running a, a bigger turbo. Um, I did get a standalone uh, ECU this time so it can get properly tuned. So tuning, paint, um, I'm gonna try and stay away from messing with the engine anymore. Uh, once it runs nice, I, I'm gonna you know, try not to touch it because that's when stuff just goes downhill. Suspension work would be the biggest thing. Um, nicer tires, that kind of stuff. I, I say I build it for myself because a lot of people nowadays, they will, um, the stereotypical, they'll buy a 240SX, they'll put a um, 2JZ in it, they'll put some uh, three-piece work equips on it, they'll make it really low, they'll put a body kit on it, and then they'll take a bunch of pictures of it and get famous on Instagram. And they, they don't beat on it. I mean, they don't do the stuff that cars are meant to do. So, um, yeah, I post pictures to Instagram, but I'm not like fishing for, for likes. I mean, I like to show my friends, you know, this is what I've, this is what I've accomplished. And I, I really do build the car for me. I mean, when people on social media, they ask, you know, they take a picture of their car. What do you guys think? Do you guys like this? I, I don't understand it because it's your car. If you want to do it, do it. If you don't like it, then don't like it. Then don't do it. So uh, it's my car. I do whatever I want to it. So I have taken my car to Live Auto a couple times. Um, I love the guys there. They're really nice and really cool. Um, if I had to put my car with a specific shop that does the majority of work, which I'm all about doing work myself. So I have done almost everything by myself. Um, granted all the stuff that I can't do. I can't weld, um, I can't do body work professionally. Um, I did wreck it at one point, so I had to take it to a friend. So um, my friend does work, um, but if I had to put it with a shop who does all my big work, the welding, basically all my big welding stuff, it would be Race Bread. Uh, Race Bread is run by a guy named Ryan uh, Onspach, and he is the best. Like, he's the best at everything, everything. With people with cars, just gotta be yourself. I mean, tired of fake people in the car scene.